Good luck. Here we go. This is week 123 of the weekly ladder. And we have a strong opponent. So I'm quite excited. To put it mildly. Um... Let me double check. I, I wish them good luck. They wish me good luck. Let's double check what more to say. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, we're still figuring out the game mechanics, um, or the website mechanics, and um, <laughs> let me focus on the game a little bit. I've always pushed the bishop up against this sort of thing. Um, hmm. Yeah, so, uh, this kind opponent joined our weekly ladder. Um, I was quite excited to see we have an opponent uh, from Japan. This, this is going to be uh, a very strong competition here. And I am going to find this quite challenging. I'm trying to think of what the analogy here is. Like, I don't know. This would be like American players playing football, uh, or what we call American football. And then you have somebody from some other country show up and uh, uh, claim to be good at the game. That's kind of the sort of the thing that the feeling that I have here. That, like, there's a lot of audacity on my part to imagine that I could play well. Um... Just double check. Okay, yeah, OBS is on the right scene. Um... I want to put the rook on one of these files. I like this file. Let's use it. There's nothing subtle about this, but that's okay. What's perhaps less okay is the silver doing nothing. Hmm. Many times I've been told don't push back against this. Pushing back just makes it easier for them to attack you. I still don't understand that. But if I trust it, then the best use of my time would be to push this instead. Finally, I get my favored central pawn 5-5 five five thing in, which divides the board in half and gives me the strategy I like to play. Um, this pawn is loose. 
I could push this immediately, and this is perhaps my last chance to advance it. Um... They didn't stop me from pushing this, so I'm going to push it. That's dangerous, but it looks interesting. Wow. Okay, so I was considering advancing this. That's a sacrifice. Silver takes, takes, takes. I could push this also. Um, maybe I should have pushed this first. the hell? If I push the pawn, silver takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, bishop drop, they could drop their bishop on 3-3, three, three. takes, knight takes. Okay, my attack is not decisive. We're going to play a safe move.
Maybe I need to defend my king just a little bit here. So I've made use of the silver, as I don't believe that either my attack or my defense will succeed if I don't move that. So I moved it. Oh. This I'd not considered. Um. Wow. I'm impressed. I am getting rocked here. Hmm. All right, I'm playing an aggressive move, not from a position of strength, however. So that's risky, but uh, I don't have any choice, so we're playing a risky move. I'm trying to time whatever I'm going to do here with the timing of whatever castle I build. 
getting these things to line up perfectly is difficult. Mm-hmm. Oh, that kills my attack. I'll just be okay with not getting an attack then. But they have four pieces defending the center, so my three aren't enough to break it. Yeah, I'm not happy about this, but I'll live. Hmm. Hmm. This is the hard part. Do I drop this pawn or do I push this pawn? Another way to ask that question is, with one tempo, what could they do that if not already done? I think this is the right answer. The, my king is too vulnerable without this window. Oh my god. Well, that's something. Well, let's get this over with, shall we?
This is what I was reading out earlier. これより秒読みに入ります三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。三十秒。四十秒三十秒。四十秒
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒123456730秒40秒50秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四。
30秒30秒。30秒。This looks difficult.三十秒。四十秒。うん。五十秒。一、二、三。30秒。Wow. Uh, thanks for the game. Very well played. I'm impressed. Uh, cool. That was awesome. Wow.
wow, wow, wow. That was amazing. Yes, I'm... As could be told from the beginning of the game, I was not the rating favorite here. The idea here is if silver takes, silver drop, there's no stopping this mating pattern. Um, so we offer, is it fine if we start from the beginning? Um, so the idea with the teaching ladder, or the weekly ladder, uh, is that uh, we get to review the game afterward and have our a discussion about many thoughts that happened within this game. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm curious where this is okay. Like, sometimes I play this sort of thing, or this, or this. Um, but, yeah. I think a lot of things are playable. So, um... I assume it's probably fine at our level to play a variety of different things. Um... But yeah, the, this opening stuff is, in general, pretty flexible. And one of the things I enjoy about Chuggy is that you can not have to memorize a crazy amount of opening ideas in order to be able to play uh, competently. Uh, oh, we think we play 2-6 pawn. Oh, okay, yeah. I see, yeah. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. Yeah, I think that is, that builds a formation with the rook in front of the bishop that's familiar to us. Uh, so that's, I think, called twisting rook. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. I bet um, it's been maybe a half a year, two years since I've heard about this idea, so I've completely forgotten it's a possibility. And I really, really enjoy pushing that center pawn, so deviating from this, um, you know, just, it was a bit, um, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to look more at this, because it looks amazing. And my center pawn idea I was not so comfortable with for reasons that became pretty obvious during the game. Or I pushed the pawn to 5-5, five five, it got mowed down, the opponent got their pawn on 5-5, five five, got another pawn adjoining it, and then crushed me. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, that's a really cool idea. Uh, yeah, and in post-game discussion, there's a lot of opportunity to talk about a lot of things that are just fun to talk about. Um, so, oops, sorry. Somebody had tried to point something out. Uh, I don't know whether that was my opponent or myself here, or... Um, our spectator, rather, trying to point things out here. Um, but it is interesting. Uh, do I want to point to the Ishida style for the third? Oh! Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of openings to learn. Uh, but yeah, he's right that like pawn seven five generally indicates uh this sort of thing. Oops, sorry, not that. Um, this sort of thing. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. 
Jessica. That's a, that's a good point. Um, so I completely spaced on this during the game, but Rook uh, seven eight might be playable. Yeah, maybe seven seven Rook strategy is more good. Or yeah, seven six I think they mean. Forgot about this here. Didn't quite remember this. Um, yeah, I can study it more. Yeah. But yeah, I know, like, there's stuff I can do. I just, there's a lot to remember. But uh, yeah, I think he raises a good point. This is the move I normally play. I panicked on account of my opponent's rating and experience. Um, yeah. Uh, uh Yeah, so uh, it there's much for me to learn here. Yeah. And if I weren't playing like every opening, I would know some things better. Like, for example, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. There's so much to learn. Um... Uh, but even getting beyond, the, and I like the Twisting Rook, uh, yeah. yeah, so, um, yeah, I not, have not put the same level of effort into Shogi opening study that I put into chess opening study. Um, but some level of effort is worth it and fun as long as I'm always learning new things. Hmm. Yeah. Uh... So, pushing this edge pawn, um, I think is a good idea, but I think there are better ideas in many, many, many positions, and that I could save this, expecting that most of the time my opponent will delay pawn 1-5 until after I've done some other things and they've done some other things. Um, it's some dumb finesse that I could delay this pawn 1-6. Yeah, but, you know, at my level, probably pushing pawn 1-6, at least while the kings are both on the same file, this pawn 1-6 is probably okay, and then I could push up this pawn and bring the silver up as well. Uh, so, yeah, this is possible. Um, during the game, I really wasn't sure what I was doing. So I was faking confidence, and I I thought pawn, pawn one five was an overplay, but I don't know how I'm going to translate that into simple English. So let's see.
yeah. It's I was playing some really sharp, risky, dangerous stuff. And he raises a good point that I probably should strongly consider pushing this. Despite hearing, oh, that's a wasted move. At my level, it, it really isn't. I should be doing that. Um, yeah, this, like, I thought I would have time to do this sort of thing. I don't know. It, it seems hard to defend, but they defended masterfully against whatever attack I pulled off there. So there was some trick somehow, and I don't know how they managed it. I'm quite impressed. Um, so perhaps I overplayed a lot. Uh, I was reminded, I think it was a Satomi game where we heard that this pawn 5-4 was not available because Gota had stopped pawn 5, or had defended this in advance. Oh! Uh, players can click and drag to draw arrows. I forget. Uh, maybe you need to play 10 games first. Um, but yeah, you can draw an arrow between any squares. Um, so... Um, Um, I, I see my opponent had played like five or six games on this website, and I think 81 Dojo does not immediately allow everyone to draw arrows, but I think very quickly people do get this permission. Yeah. Yep. Uh... Uh, so, here. So, like, I could play the rook back, I could play the silver up, or this pawn up. Or I could potentially drop a pawn here. So, like, any of these things seem possible. I didn't know really, um, didn't know really what the best move here was. And maybe there is no one best move. Maybe it's a challenge of combining all these things, but moving the gold up earlier is really starting to bite me in the butt. Uh, four, six pawn, might be wrong. Oh! Um, I think, yeah, I think that, yeah, attacking from the castle here is risky. And we saw in the game that when I pushed this fourth file and then pushed the third file pawn, I was screwed. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I don't know what the word means. I'm sorry. Cobean. I'm not familiar. Let me take a look. Okay. Shogi Kobian. Uh, what might this mean? Oh! Uh, 
yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, this is right next to the... Oops. It's right next to the king. Uh... Yeah, maybe there's a better word. This has been something we've always struggled with because we hear gold on the head as a checkmating pattern. But if this is where the head is, then what's this off to the side? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, shoulder might be more accurate than ear, if I had to guess. Um, maybe shoulder might be better. Uh... Yeah, yeah, Google Translate says diagonally forward is what Cobin translates to. <laughs> it's great. It's delightful. Uh... So like I've done this and that. Um, five six rook and seven six rook. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kim Romino, I've built this shape. It seems quite strong. Um, uh, I thought they'd give me time to complete it, too. But we both played some very risky moves. And I am fine living with the variance here. Throwing the dice, seeing where things end up. Um... Oh. Oh, Kimura Mino is compatible with Nakabisha with Central File Rook. Yeah. <laughs> the silver move looks risky. So, yeah. I mean, what's this, man? <laughs> what is that? What's going on here? <laughs> I know in many positions it's fine, but... I don't know. I'm not sold on this concept. Um, this is the whole point of my pushing that pawn, is to say you can't do that move. And then you did it anyway. And I was surprised. <laughs> uh, ah, they thought 4-6 pawn is very risky. I see. So, um, I wondered, I see, but okay. So, this, I guess, is what they were thinking about. This hadn't even crossed my mind that I could transpose into this other shape. Um, um, 
but it makes sense. It's just I'm not as familiar with the shape, but I should learn it, you know? That's the whole point of our ladder, is that we get to see ideas, figure out what is... Um... Yeah, it seemed reluctant. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this this really cramps their position. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I guess also this might have been possible. Uh, mm. Um, so there's just a lot of ideas to throw around in this position. It's, it's definitely a fertile ground for ideas. Okay. Yeah, uh, there's something I'm missing, or not asking correctly. That's kind of my fault. That's okay. Uh, um, I'm not, not really sure how to ask it. In the same way that I wouldn't have thought, like, about... Here's um, oh, Ishida over there. That didn't occur to me. Twisting Rook didn't occur to me. So, like, I'm not really sure what I'm asking about. Um, so that's making it hard for him to answer questions, unfortunately. Just, I'm super out of my element here. That's fine. But 5-2 gold, 5-9 rook, 5-3 silver, 5-4 pawn. Yeah. So, yeah, this is difficult for the opponent. Um, there's a lot of tactics that stem from this, but the idea is I've made this inroad into their position. Uh, and during the game, I was thinking about this. I was thinking they'd advance their silvers and drop a pawn in 5-5, five, five, but it's actually more complicated than that. Oh, uh, sorry, I can give them... I'll let them show things here, too. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, interesting. Okay. That blocks the bishop. Maybe you'd push the silver a different square, but it might not matter much. Um, I see. I would be happy taking their side of this position, believe it or not. I've had challenges with this sort of thing. Hmm. I wonder. So, uh, is this sort of thing playable? Um, like that? Yeah. I like your position here. Um, seven five pawn. Uh, yeah, it's there's a lot to consider. But here I've not finished Kimuramino, I've not really finished a castle, and their attack lands 
quite quickly. Um, so I'm not totally sure about this variation. But like I said, I would aim for the silver to hit over here earlier if I could. Okay, hitting. Yeah, so he's talking, when he says hitting pawn, yeah, he's talking about this one here. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I clicked the hat button so you could show moves. Um, um, So, yeah, if I progress through the game, um, like, he's not going to be able to see uh, what I'm looking at, unfortunately. So, um, let's see. And that's, yeah, sorry, there's some kind of gap uh, here. So I clicked the hat button so they could show off some variations and things. Um, but yeah, here, if I want to go continue looking at the game... Um, yeah, this is an interesting position. We'll wait a minute until they have questions or something. But I thought this was interesting that here they split their castle, but uh, I don't have an attack, so it's fine. And then they were able to get this pawn pushed to 6-5 very quickly. Okay, cool. So, there a lot happened right after the opening, and things got quite interesting. Um, yes, they're able to progress with the analysis and drive it at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So... Yeah. Yeah, this pawn 5-5 five five and bringing up their silver and their pawn on the sixth file. I didn't expect that to be so strong. Especially because this pin, like, on the diagonal right next to their king, I thought this was going to backfire on them. I didn't think they had time to do what they were doing. And maybe I just, like, severely missed some tactical shot somewhere. Oh! Okay, yeah. Having spent the move uh, advancing this pawn and not defending my king... Okay, that's a fair point. And then I pushed the silver instead of defending my king again, but I thought I needed the silver to attack and it wasn't doing anything here. But yeah, if I'd spent a little more time building some kind of castle, maybe Elmo or something, I wonder. King 2a. Yeah, if I'm going to do King 2a, I probably want to play Pawn 1 6 also. But. He's... yeah, that makes sense. I was super paranoid. I don't like when this pawn's advanced and playing king 2-8. It's very dangerous. Uh, I can try to find this in a new browser window. Give me one second. Deep L translate. Uh, let's see. What is Deep L? Oh. Um. Yeah. 
indicate, specify, identify, point. Um, uh, so DeepL is a great uh, free to use translation service. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I needed to complete this. I played recklessly and I got destroyed. That's what happened. Um <laughs> Hmm oh next pawn four five pawn actually. Hmm Yeah, so he's pointing out this is actually a really confusing position. Hmm, how does one, like, 4-5 pawn looks so strong. Well, yeah, I take this. Oh, wow. Hang, oh, right. Uh, this is amazing. Ah. Uh. You're correct. Yeah, and the point here is that if I take that, then there's this fork. That, uh... I wonder... Can I get away with this? I didn't think deeply about this. It looks tricky. Yeah. Um, shit. What do we do now? <laughs> hmm. This looks super complicated. This is the boat of load of fireworks that I was trying to aim for in the game, but didn't get. Okay, that's a fork. Yep, and then we end up with this. <laughs> uh, let's do it! That seems fun. My king's no coward. <laughs> uh, it's a bit aggressive now. <laughs> yeah, we are both confused. Any game I can make both players think is a fun game. Uh, so... Yeah, there's a lot to consider here. I kind of like this idea. I'm reminded of my accidental victory against Lily when she had some difficulties defending against a similar attack. Um, I mean, it's just fun to th just load up all the fireworks and see what happens. 8-3 uh, pawn, 8-4 pawn. 8-3... Oh, yeah! Yeah, he raises a really good point that 8-3 pawn and 8-4 pawn, yeah, that could be difficult to deal with. Um, I missed that, but he's right. And this keeps their rook out. 
Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that looks very interesting. Yeah, that's a good call. I was idly thinking about this in a variety of different positions, but here it just looks crushing. Which is pretty cool. I'll take it. Um, so, yeah, that's a lot to take in. But eh, it's possible some of the variations might not be entirely sound, and that's fine. Um, let's see. Well, we are both playing risky moves, and it's fun. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the way we learn, is by taking chances. <laughs> uh... Oops. Cool. So that's fine. We'll try to show the remainder of the game. We might have some technical difficulties. They're just bound to the interface. Nice. Um, yeah, thanks. Yeah. So this was pretty cool. Um, oh, man. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> took me long enough. <laughs> but I did move my king. Um, mm. It's tricky, but I think it's fine. I mean, alternatively, I could consider, like, bringing this back over, or something else. Uh, three, seven, knight, four, five, pawn. Yeah, so that's the idea, um, is that, yeah, I do want to play something like this. Um, I think against this, maybe there's this move. So, yeah, this knight might become a bit of a target. Um, but maybe this is the right thing to do in this circumstance, I'm not sure. There's a lot to consider. Um, yeah, this rook move surprised me, but I don't know what I would do. Uh, there's a lot of things to consider. Uh, they take, I take... Um, <laughs> yeah, this is good fun. I don't know where my mistake happened, but somewhere I ended up making a mistake. <laughs> yeah, four or five silver. Uh, that looked very, very risky. Um, I'm oh, sorry, I can... I can give them that, yeah. So... I thought my position was great here. Maybe they're saying my 4 or 5 silver. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is... Huh. 
<sighs> I don't know what it is that prompted them to play so aggressively here. Yeah. Somehow I made mistakes later, but I was thinking that my position was a lot better than theirs was here. Yeah. And this is why no matter what happens in the opening, no matter what happens in the middle of the game, you gotta practice your checkmates. There's... At least if your sole intention is victory, um, in order to secure victory, you need to practice the basics. It's challenging. <laughs> uh, that was funny. 5-3 <laughs> yeah, uh, gold. Uh, Yeah, so many risky moves this game. Um, now against this, didn't I have something planned? I thought I had a plan here. Wait. Uh, what? Hmm. What? That's weird. <laughs> I thought I had a plan here. Where did my plan go? What? Excuse me. Where's my plan? Oh my goodness. Um... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well, mm, nominally it makes sense. This is so... Hmm. It's tricky. Um... But I think they've actually taken the 5-5 five, five point by force. Um, hmm. Take, 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 take. Wait, how does this work? Rook takes, bishop takes. Oh, they've... Wait, can they not... Is this playable? Uh... Oh. <laughs> uh... The double O. Yeah. Your position's better. Um, uh, so, wait. I'm confused. Or, sorry. I got confused there. Mm. I'm not speaking clearly because I'm so surprised at happenings in this position. Um, there's, it's just super sharp. They don't want to hit four or five pawn. Okay, so... Yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, the silver drop, yeah, you have to either move, or yeah, drop, yeah, move the silver is the most flexible thing here. 
though silver takes you can initiate exchanges here and it's fine um where did my beautiful attack go i had a beautiful attack oh takes takes rook takes bishop yeah this is complicated Bishop takes, bishop takes, oh yeah, and then rook drop. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. That um, Santa can't get away. Well, I don't think Santa can get away with this. I think I prefer Gota's position here. Um, but maybe I'm just confused. Okay, cool. So I think, yeah, we both agree Gota's better there. So, yeah, uh, I don't have time for this drop. Um, so maybe I just need to take this directly. Um, so I don't think this favors me though. Yeah. Um, Oh, do I not have a tactical shot here? Maybe I don't. Um, hmm. <sighs> Shogi's challenging. <laughs> Um, maybe I need to drop this, hitting the square and that square. Maybe that's the idea in this position. Um, and then maybe we hit here. There seems to be a lot of fire. But yeah, I think there's something I can do here. Maybe I haven't precisely nailed exactly what it is, but this they have built a castle, I've built a castle. This position looks playable for both players, but I don't this seems unclear. Whereas other variations we looked at did favor Gota, this one seems, uh, yeah, this seems unclear, which I am glad to take against a two-down opponent. I will take anything that's, like, not losing against an opponent, so, yeah. If I can make the players think, it's a good game. So, that's the idea here. Yeah, I think I agree. This is inspired in the heat of the moment in our analysis that, like, this didn't occur to me until after we looked at the bishop 7-1 first. But this seems uh, quite good. So this seems to make the game unclear that otherwise would have been very, very difficult for me here. Just seems now playable instead of just losing. So, um, yeah, consequently the silver drop doesn't seem right, but we're getting 
it seems like this whole situation is playable for me. And I think part of the reason it's playable is because they haven't completed a castle. But neither have I, so what am I talking about? So, okay, interesting. They have some more ideas here. I wonder what they're thinking. <laughs> yeah, it's a challenging position. Um, I think this is why I can play Rick Takes 5-5. Five five. Uh, so, yeah. I get my pawn back, and it's just kind of a mess. Um, and, you know, this is the kind of mess that we aim for. It's fun for me, it's fun for the spectators. So, yeah, it looks quite challenging. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really know what more to say about this variation other than uh, yeah, <laughs> so many variations. But, um, yeah, it's kind of a kaleidoscope. And, you know, this is what I was expecting during the game, was this sort of thing. I really, I thought we'd end up on a path like this. Um, I was ready for this fight, but not ready for the fight that actually happened in the game, which just knocked me out. Oh, this seems like Gota's good. Not sure I agree with this assessment, but yeah, it's risky for me, for sure. Um, but I don't know that this is good for Gota. This looks risky. Our opinions will differ, but what matters is like what the moves and ideas are. Yeah, yeah, that's a fork. Yep. So, there's just a lot of variations to look at in this sub-variation. I think that's why it's better that they picked the move that they did in the actual game than uh, this variation. So... Yeah, what they did in the game, I was not prepared for, and it crushed me. But I think I would have been fine here. Would I have won? Not necessarily. I think it's still, at this point, it would be a coin flip. In the game, it, well, we saw what happened. Mm. Yeah. This could be good for Gota, but this looks super unclear. Um, this uh, Rook isn't really... Uh... Someday that needs to find a good square. And there's just a lot of tactics going on in this position. Um, but yeah, maybe it's fine. I don't know. It, to me, it's unclear. No, 
so this started with silver drop 54 being the point of discussion this is the sort of thing that during the game i was expecting we would see but during the game they didn't play silver 54 uh they played something else and i lost to the other thing whether or not i had some tactical shot in the other variation that that's a matter to be disputed uh or i don't know that's a matter for us to figure out at some point. Engines can help us figure that out, too. Um, oh, um, yeah, uh, I don't know how to say this, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's tra <laughs> difficult to translate. <laughs> Definitely. So, yeah. Looks safer. Uh, yeah, somehow I made tactical errors after what happened in the actual game. And I think the rest of that's just a series of calculations that you know, are really specific to the positions in the game. Um, but yeah, I think this move was probably safer. And what they played in the game with gold 5-3 was very dangerous. Um, I just could not figure out how to attack, but and that's fine. Um, oh, let's see what their comments are. Yeah. But this sort of thing, I th this is the sort of thing I kind of expected. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, gold 5-3 is dangerous. Yeah. But, uh, so we'll see if they want to look at the rest of the game, um, or anything else in the game. Um, it was an interesting game, I, and engines will tell us faster than we can figure out what happened in this end game. It was a wild ride, it really was. Like, that's the way I play. We end up with fireworks everywhere. Uh... Hmm. Um, hmm. This seems tricky. Yeah, so where is it that Gota makes a mistake? I wonder. This all looked super dangerous. And I was quite content to let this... Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> yeah. This is pain. This is absolutely pain. 
Uh, so, yeah. I thought I was better here. But I was having immense difficulty figuring this out. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to find good moves when I have a castle, and this, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's just targets everywhere. Um, this is so extremely difficult to figure out what the hell is going on. So maybe this is possible? I don't know. Uh, I mean, this is an idea. And then we could play that. Or maybe instead of that, maybe, I don't know. Hmm. It's complicated. Yes, it's super freaking complicated. Everything is hanging. <laughs> this is such a mess. But it's exciting, so what's not to like? What I didn't care for in this position, yeah, stuff like that looked difficult for me to disintegrate. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, very good point. Um, They're so good at attacking. Like, if I knew my checkmates really well, then I would also know Yosa, which would be how you approach the king. Yeah, during the game, I was trying to figure all this out, and I only had 60 seconds to figure out this variation and, like, the 55 moves that follow it, so... Um... Yeah, this is... This is way over my head, um, but he's that's he's got to be right. He's very good at what he does. Um, so yeah, I assume something like this, um, and then I assume something like that. I don't know. It looks crazy, but. Oops. Uh, I forgot about this. Um, um, okay. So, yeah, no, that's, I think this is just a mistake on my part. Um, sorry, I meant this one. Yeah. <laughs> this looks safer. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is, to me, this is immensely complicated. But... Uh... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe I was right the first time. That doesn't seem likely, though. Uh, let's do this anyway. Um, hmm. Maybe this? I don't know. Unload the fireworks. Everything's on fire. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, this, this is the exciting stuff that didn't actually happen in the game, but could have happened. Um, yeah, we take there. Holy crap. Nice. 
Very nice find. Wow. Just unload all the fireworks. Yeah. That's really clever. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Engines are really good at this, at solving these sorts of things, these problems. Uh, humans, not so much. Um, oh my head! <laughs> what do we do? How do we resolve this tension? Oh. Um. There's a lot of tension here. Yeah, maybe I made a mistake somewhere. Maybe here there's something other than this bishop drop. Hmm. <laughs> Engines are good at solving these. I am not quite as good. <laughs> uh, this is super challenging. I just... Yeah, I don't know, man. It's over my head. <laughs> That's for sure. But, uh, wouldn't surprise me if there's something going on here. I just wouldn't know how to try to solve it. But I think, yeah, they're on the right path. Since it looks excellent, so yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's my kind of shogi. <laughs> it's how we do it. So this is how I got to Don on this website. Is I just play extremely tactical stuff. And try to win on the tactics, because, yeah, I don't know. It's easy to overwhelm both players, and just keeping your head out of the swamp, um, you know, if you can, like, stay one step ahead of the opponent, one step ahead is good enough. You don't have to find perfect moves, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And plus, when you do it this way on the teaching ladder, uh, your opponent gets to school you super hard on your mistakes. And here, yeah, I did not play the most critical moves. Oh, shit. Uh, actually. Oh, I missed gold 5 3 takes. That's how I fuck this up. Yeah. And then this bishop never gets active and the rest falls apart. Um, so that's how I mess this up. Yeah. So this would be, uh, let's see, bishop takes 5-3 means uh, taking 5-3 uh, with promotion, yeah. It takes 5-3 means no promotion, yeah. So... Makes sense. Yeah. 
There's a lot of nuances, and I'm sure if I had to learn uh, Japanese notation... That's the plug for the weekly teaching ladder. Yeah. And I was glad that they were able to join us. This is very exciting. Um, I wanted to give the impression that, hey, just... Yeah, I know we're most of us are English-speaking players, but we know some things. Yeah. Cool. This was very fun. Even though I got my rear end kicked, as I suspected, I was not mistaken, but it was still good fun, right? Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. <laughs> yep, great. Wonderful. Uh, so... Yeah, how do we conclude this? I wonder. So, conclusion remarks. Um, yeah, there are some things opening related with the quick Ishida formation, or just Ishida in general, as well as with Twisting Rook that I could study. Beyond those things, I could also... Uh, obviously, there's some endgame related ideas that he just crushed my castle. It was quite impressive how strong his attack was. He attacked very well here. Um, and then in the middle game, yeah, in time pressure, I didn't manage my time perfectly. If this were some super ultra mega serious tournament game with prizes and such on the line, I might have spent all 60 seconds Byoyomi every move. I didn't do that here because, you know, I just was playing and having some fun, but doing my best. But, yeah, like, if there were, uh, if the stakes were much higher, who knows what I would have played. Um, let's see, so we have more remarks and more discussion. Yeah, the great thing with these weekly ladders is you get to, uh, with your opponent, uh, review the game and, uh, there's a lot to look at, so um, yeah, I hope uh, we'll see this opponent and many other good opponents in future weeks. Yeah, so we're more than glad to look at the remainder of the game too, but I just got my ass handed to me here. Uh, yeah, this is amazing. I did not see this coming. Like, I should know this sort of thing, given my rating, but I just was completely overwhelmed and unprepared for a serious attack, which this was. So, what can you say? Um, this was a beautiful attack. They played it masterfully. 5-5 five, five bishop is good. Uh... quite surprised how good it is so like here i basically have to run away like that um which sucks it's very oh oh shit wait that works Yes, the point he's making here is that after this... <laughs> I missed that, too. That's really cool. Yeah. 
Wow. Bishop 5-5 five five is epic. It's amazingly effective. Because it cuts the line where my horse defends everything. It's such a good move. There is no defense. And we should know that, because there's a proverb saying, without gold in hand, there is no defense. And this is a prime example of that. <sighs> yeah, so... Uh, this, I was completely surprised, overwhelmed, and stunned by all of this, and did not have any clue what to do. I don't think that surprises anyone, given my character, but um, and experience. But yeah, this is just showing like this is how they play the game in Japan. They know what they're doing. We out here are like, hey, that looks like a cool idea. <laughs> they are like, I've played this checkmate ten times before, and I'm going to play it against you again. <laughs> they, they, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. So yeah, I think midfield. He means the middle game. Um, yeah, this we had a really sharp position, and in time pressure, I collapsed. So what can happen? I mean, yeah. Here, this silver drop just finishes me. Like that in combination with bishop five five. There's just no defense here. Um, I guess maybe I need to try, uh, this sort of thing. Yeah, it's so very difficult to defend here. Um... But maybe this is what I needed to try. I don't know. Yeah, so if they take this gold, they don't have bishop 5-5, five five, but they have this bishop drop. Uh, this is... A, oh, yeah, actually, there is a good point. Um, well, is it a good point? I want to say it is. But given what they just taught us, maybe it's not. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this drop. Right. Um, okay. Interesting. I guess given that... Oh, wait. Maybe this is... I don't know. I'm so overwhelmed in all of... Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Oops. Wow. All right. So this is me losing to every checkmate ever because I, again, I'm completely outclassed here. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this could not be more evident, could it? Uh, yeah. Such a strong attack. And my defense is so flimsy. Like, it's amazing how quickly it disintegrates. All because of this freaking pawn on 1-5. It's amazing. Um, yeah, there's no defense. All because of that pawn. So wait, this means that I can't move the knight. Ah, <sighs> yeah, so that's, yeah. 
Yeah, in time pressure, I make blunders, and blunders are not helpful. Um, so I guess I need to, like, defend this or something. Uh, or, I don't know. Maybe this. <sighs> Your position's so, so much better than mine. There's, like, I can't, I, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah, like this, there's nothing I could do. That's kind of amazing. So there's, like, what could I possibly do to stop this or even slow it? It's just such a strong attack. All because of that pawn and because my attack has not broken through because I missed that bishop takes 5-3. Had I seen bishop takes 5-3 earlier, we could have a different tune here. But there, there's just, I can't do anything. It's, I'm done, so... There's no defense. I'm, my gold is hanging, my castle's open. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a good point, too. That this pawn drop is just... it's too much. If I can't do it, my position's lost. But my position's lost, so... It is what it is. Yeah, if I can't do this and force the silver to run away, like, my position is just gradually going to become more and more miserable and indefensible. So I need to be able to do things like this, but it just doesn't work. Um, I was too stubborn. Uh, that's... yep. Uh, cool. So, are there other things to look at? Not that I'm aware of. Yes, yeah, so in the opening, again, there was Ishida as well as Twisting Rook. In the middle game, there was um, that Bishop takes 5-3 and some other tactics that we didn't look at. Uh, although they could have played something different that wouldn't have allowed bishop takes 5-3 and it would have all been unclear. And that might be if we were to repeat the game. That might be where we end up next time. In the end game, I just got crushed. That's just how it goes. Very strong, experienced player playing the game they know best. Hope we enjoyed that. Uh, see you next time.